Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just coming from downstairs because I got a package. So my sister, typically every year when I get the new phone, I will upgrade and um, give my sister the phone that I had. And then she gives my daughter the one that she has. Um, <clears throat> but I upgraded my phone this year and I didn't keep the one that I had and I just got a different one for her. I got the 14. <laughs> I was supposed to just be buying a phone for my daughter and I'm like, if I'm going to buy a phone, it's going to be for her. So it is small, but I really hope that she does love it and the phone is purple. I don't even know if the girl likes purple. But also, I already checked out, you know? So I'm like, whatever, I don't want to have to go back and change it now. So I bought some tempered glass for, what is this? I bought some tempered glass. Oh, this is a computer charger. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and label it Acer charger. So I got a um, computer charger for my daughter's computer because it's one thing about that young lady, she's gonna wreck some electronic. Anyways, the computer charger broke off and she said that she was not the one who did it. Oh, they give you an additional head, hopefully. Well, it's not additional, it just goes over this one. Yeah, she said she's not the one who wrecked it. If that's what she said, that's what we're working with. She said she wanted a new charger for Christmas. I bought her a new charger for Christmas. But since she's going to get the phone that my sister has, which is now the 11 Pro Max, I bought her like a cute little case. I think she'll appreciate that. I don't know. I guess it's cute and girly. I don't really know. My sister already has some cases, so I literally just bought one case because I'm buying a whole new phone, computer charger, tempered glass, yada, yada, yada. Come on. I was supposed to get two packages, but so far I've only seen one. And my sister's best friend from high school is gonna come pick up the package this Sunday. Let's check on the order. I think I should have gotten a few things today, actually. Because I bought some strings for me as um, little toys. Okay, so three things were delivered. What about the rest? Arriving today by 8 p.m. I'm getting some Sensodyne toothpaste, some trash bags, and the strings that I bought for me as stuff. Well, some other things will be delivered tomorrow and some will be delivered Thursday as long as they come by Saturday. But also all of these things told me that they would have been delivered today. So I'm kind of irritated but I still have some more that's set to come today. So I can have everything by Sunday because she said that Sunday she would come and pick up uh, the package. God bless her soul that I don't have to go anywhere to have to go give her the stuff. Love her and love that. But yeah, so I bought some strings for me as little toys because especially when she's sitting in the high chair here like she is right now, she has like a few toys and she keeps, I don't know if she throws them off on purpose or sometimes they do fall, but I bought some little strings to tie it onto them. I don't know where I'm going to tie them on to. So even if she tosses them, it doesn't fall off of the high chair. I don't know, that made sense in my head. Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe not so much. But yeah, I have some stuff here that I made for breakfast that I still have not even eaten yet. <laughs> Honey, you're eating that up, huh? You like that? You're so cute, girl. You guys, I have her hair in two ponytails and oh. Oh! Stunning! She loves looking at herself, so she's gonna look. I want to show them your hair. Hi. Hi. Such a pretty girl. Such a gorgeous girl. I have the most beautiful daughters. Yeah, that's her new thing. Anyways, I, I'm gonna, like I said, put this charger in a Ziploc bag and label it Acer Charger. And I told this young lady, this is the last time I'm replacing any part of any electronic. Um, 
tempered glass. Boy, Chase, honey, these aren't toys. You're reaching for the back. These aren't toys, my love. We don't even have to buy toys for babies anymore. Look at you turning around to come up out of this chair, girl. And when I put you on the little mat on the floor, you don't want to do anything. These are not toys, my love. Hello you guys. Well, today was every bit of an annoying day around the apartment. Because it is the new year, I'm trying to make sure that the apartment is clean and in tip-top shape and that requires doing a lot of the annoying little things. So as you guys know, my counters, or maybe you guys don't know, my counters are originally like a dark granite color. I don't really even know if that's granite, but it's not marble, so it gotta be granite. <laughs> and I covered them with contact paper, like here. Some parts of the counter has like a little bit of wear and tear. So the parts that have visible wear and tear have been going in and like replacing the contact paper on there. I've been going in and replacing the contact paper on there. You know, so it looks more prim and proper and also more clean. In addition to the wear and tear, um, some parts were just dirty and because it is around the general vicinity of the stove it wasn't just dirty from like it was like splatters of oil you know just that grease lingering on there just all of that so I had to go through I went through this morning and I did two parts and the marble paper that I have left is not enough to do the rest and I know that I gave some of that marble peel and stick away I just didn't realize how many I gave away so I do have like one, two parts left that I have to, or that I could redo. It is around the sink. Um, so maybe I'll buy like an additional wallpaper to do it. I just need to remember where, not wallpaper, peel and stick to do it. I just need to remember where I had purchased the peel and stick from. I remember the last time my mom was here, I gave her some because baby, I was turning everything marble up in here. Like I had a magic wand. You turn marble, you turn marble, you turn marble. I was turning everything marble. I like that, um, you know, obviously when you're renting, you have to do renter friendly things to make your space comfortable and inviting. And it's one thing about me, wherever I live, I'm gonna make it a comfortable space for me. So I'm gonna do a lot of things that are not permanent to make it, you know, a space that I love, enjoy, and want to be in. So I did just that. I went through and I cleaned the stove off because it, had been a minute since I gave the stove a good deep clean. So right now I'm going through and I'm putting, you know, I'm also waiting on a delivery and I really need that phone to come today because um, my sister's friend is supposed to be picking it up on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. I also just called um, nursing office at my job to pick up a shift for Friday night and the lady who's basically the supervisor for tonight is like oh friday is too far i can't do it right now i'm gonna call you back and this is why we have such a big staffing issue because in the moment when people are calling you and asking you oh can you put me down for this specific day you can't do it now and then people change their minds and then you're asked out friday is too far i'm doing something important right now so staffing is not important i mean i get it sometimes there are things a little bit more important than the staffing but that is an important process too because the quality of care for the patients are never gonna be in tip-top shape if staffing is this poor. But, you know, to each their own. Last night I told the, the supervisor who was on, on to put me down, he said he did. I was basically just calling to confirm. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to call the lady who actually does the staffing. Because I can't be bothered with this, with this one. She calls me back, okay, whatever. If not, okay, whatever. Um, but here's my thing too, right? When I pick up an extra shift, I really do want to just be on my floor. Even though there's no guarantee that I am indeed going to be on my floor, I really would prefer to be on my floor. When I go to the other floors, it's such a, an uncomfortable little, you know? But whatever. Now, if it's my regular shift and they float me, then it is what it is and I make it work. But picking up an extra shift, I would prefer to 
volunteer my services to my home for. But sometimes it don't work out like that. So I'm going through and I'm putting aluminum foil on the stove and then I'm gonna put the burners on. And I do that mainly because it makes the cleanup very easy after um, I'm done. Because when you're done, you would basically just be taking off the aluminum foil. Of course, you're gonna have to um, wipe the burners and stuff, or, like basically wash them because I have I scrubbed them in the sink today and everything. But it just makes the cleanup a lot easier because most of what you're cleaning up would be on top of the aluminum foil. We saw our mom doing this growing up, and it's been something that I've been doing for a few years. Ever since I lived in this apartment. But um, yeah, so that is what we are in the kitchen doing. I think I should have received another delivery too. Hi, baby. Your, your bib is on the back like you're a super man. Are you super man? Are you super man? Yeah, you are super man. My mom called me today too and asked me about something for the glasses that makes it stay behind your ears. And I sent her a screenshot to figure it out. out, out to figure out if that's what she's talking and she has not responded yet. So at this point, I don't even know what in the hell she is talking. I'm not gonna lie, this blueless wig really has come in handy. Even though I, when I wear it, I still put a little freezing spray on there. It really does make my life so very easy in terms of like I have it on and I can keep it on for days on end and like not have to take it off or anything. And like, you know, cause right now I just have it on. And I basically put this little Headband. This is pretty much a scrunchie, but this is one of the bigger ones and I put it on the lace part right here and that be it. I really should do a workout because right now my stomach does not look how I want it to look. It, like she knows what you walking away from her is. It's so crazy to see how like um, since she was born and like so tiny and brand new to the world. I'm telling you, this pregnancy was a very different experience for me than um, the pregnancy with my older daughter because i was a teenager and i was dumb okay not even gonna lie so most of the things that you're most of the experiences about pregnancy that you're supposed to enjoy and stuff like that i can't even remember like you know her baby stages and stuff like that i just remember staring at her all the time as a baby when she's sleeping because what else was there to do you know but with me i'm remembering so many more things mainly because i am older and then too i take a lot of pictures of her because my older daughter always asked me do you have any more pictures of like when i was a baby and i did because i've always liked taking pictures and videos and stuff like that but i had a phone at the time and only god knows what happened to it right now thank god for google photos and like the fact that iphones um basically have icloud and storage and stuff because <coughs> had it not been for that i don't know what i would have done this morning I went through and I made Mia some uh, some pears, pear, apple, and like orange juice smoothie, pretty much because it's that thick smoothie consistency, and she absolutely loved it. She ate it up, and I gave her four ounces to begin with, and she was like still looking for more. And I was like feeding her some from the bottle that I'm stirring it in in the fridge, and she was just all over it. So I'm really glad that she loves that and I feel good about it because it is organic in the sense where I made it at home. There's no preservatives or anything in it and I really, that really makes me um, feel really good. But it is to come off of the counter. I think I spoke briefly already about the plans that I have for the apartment. I need a storage cabinet in that corner right there and um, I'm thinking of like getting a different table right now. This one isn't bothering me too much so you know. I bought a mirror for the entryway on TikTok shops. Oh, TikTok shops has me in a chokehold. Um, it has not said that it's shipped yet because they're seeing that because of the high um, volume orders. But um, even if it comes late, I'm hoping that it actually does come because I don't know that I can cancel the order. And I had bought it in black when I really it says shipping delayed i mean is there more in stock order volume is higher than usual during the holiday season we appreciate your patience while order while your order is prepared and shipped thank you for your support 
Oh my god, the order will be to protect your shopping experience. The order will be automatically canceled in six days if it has not shipped then. We apologize for the delay. Let's hope it ships in six days because I want it. Because right now I see a gold one on sale for basically the same money and I would. Okay, whatever. We're gonna just wait, hope, and pray that it ships within six days. Okay? Okay. Hey, sweetheart. Now she's at the point where she chews her little mouth so much, makes spit bubbles, and like uses her tongue to rub on her little gums, and it's so cute. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you, my love? Good. So happy to hear that. How's your day been? Productive day with mommy, huh? You sat up in this kitchen and watched me do all the things that I had to do, huh? She has a lot to say about that. Anyways, you guys, that's currently what I have going on. Like I said, I'm going to go look for the thing. I came in here to make her a bottle. And then I remembered that I wasn't done putting the thing on the stove, mainly because she wanted to sleep. And when she wants to sleep, we all sleep. So I dropped everything and we went to sleep. But also, I didn't sleep good because I was basically sleeping with one eye open and one closed. Because I know that the phone is supposed to be delivered. But I put like my little um, sticker for the delivery people. And they come to basically call me. And I will come down and pick up the packages on the door. So I'm saying I didn't want to fall into like a deep sleep. And not hear the phone ring. And the phone didn't ring. Anyway. So I had to be checking the package. Like what's up? Is it even going to get delivered? It says that it's still out for delivery. So I don't know. So I'm going to put my robe on real quick, run downstairs to pick up whatever else is delivered because whatever else is delivered is a part of this stuff that my sister's best friend is going to um, take to Jamaica for um, my sister and my daughter. And she has to pick it up by Sunday. So I, I'm just basically trying to make sure that everything is ready and like together. My sister did ask me to send charger wires. And now that I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, those charger wires don't work on it anyways. So I don't necessarily need to save any because I have one right now that I'm using to charge my AirPod. But that's really all that I need. So I need to put those in the bags as well. But I'm going to run downstairs really quickly, pick up the stuff. And um, I bought a phone case for myself that doesn't look like it's going to get delivered until tomorrow. That one I might end up keeping on the phone for the longest. But uh, yeah, yeah. Also, also you guys, my friend Jalisa she's Guyanese and so they have cook up that they make every New Year's Eve and to New Year's Day and she made some and she brought it um for me at work last night and I'm gonna eat that for dinner today so I'm very excited about that it's 4 41 I really hope that the delivery comes in like the next hour because I um, me and I are gonna go to sleep for like another two hours or so before the nanny comes tonight so I would love for that to come oh it's, I hate when it says that it's out for delivery. It could be delivered up to 9 p.m. Because I'm like, don't wait until 9 p.m. And typically it comes earlier. I don't know. We'll see.